instead hit Joy Cranfield. The teen accused of bringing a gun to Willoughby South last week, hugging his parents because he won't be seeing freedom anytime soon. His lawyer tried to get him out of jail, claiming he was not a threat. The judge said, yeah, right. Jeffrey Jevnikar is accused of firing two shots at school. He'll remain locked up until his next hearing. Breaking news right now in Barberton. Barberton Health District officials are reporting that a teacher at UL Light Middle School was diagnosed with MRSA. The teacher is currently being treated right now. The school district is notifying parents as a precaution. 19 Action News crews are on the scene. Of course, we'll bring you more coming up on 19 Action News at 5. Presidential candidates stumping all across the country looking to pick up some of those undecided votes. 19 Action News anchor Catherine Bosley on Campaign 08. The race for the White House with the finish line nearly in sight, the pace picks up. Candidates covering as much ground as humanly possible. The McCain-Palin ticket still at it together. Their second visit in eight days to Missouri, speaking to an overflow crowd at a retirement community in Lee's Summit. The duo taking their shot at claiming change and much more. No doubt we're going to win this election. And let me offer an advance warning to the old big spending, do nothing, me first, country second, Washington crowd. Change is coming. Change is coming. Change is coming. And a few hours later, a few states to the east, Democratic candidate Barack Obama in a more intimate setting with auto workers in Flint, Michigan. When he's not going after McCain, his speech focused on saving the American dream. American people don't want. Uh, they work hard, they are generous, they sacrifice for future generations, they believe in a set of core values, regardless of where they come from, what region of the country, what race, what faith. Reinforcing the Obama message in Wisconsin is running mate Joe Biden talking to a group in Green Bay. The senator spending most of his time here on saving jobs, but also quick to call out Sarah Palin. She's going to have to say where she wants to take America, and she's going to have to say what her record was and defend her record. Well, defend and attack what it's all about, right? And probably a lot of what Sarah Palin is about to do next right here in Ohio. Her plane just landing in Cincinnati, planning on joining John McCain for an appearance in Lebanon tomorrow. Live in the Newsplex, Catherine Bosley, 19 Action News. And from virtually unknown governor to rock star, coming up at 4.30, 19 Action News looks at Sarah Palin's poll on this election. Meanwhile, John McCain is spending time proving his presidency will not look like a Bush administration. 19 Action News anchor Paul Johnson now with a preview of his exclusive interview with John McCain. Paul? I, mean, I got a chance to interview Senator McCain over the weekend, and we talked about everything from the economy to Iraq, and he was quick to respond to the claim that a vote for McCain would be a vote for four more years of the Bush administration. Uh, to say that I, quote, voted with him 90% of the time uh, doesn't really tell the full story. You can hear the entire interview tonight at 6 p.m. Senator McCain talks specifics on how a McCain-Palin ticket will jumpstart our economy. Again, see my entire interview, a Cleveland exclusive with Senator John McCain tonight at 6 o'clock. Live at the Newsplex, Paul Johnson, 19 Action News. Now, your Ford First Alert forecast. All right, folks, here we go. Meteorologist Jeff Tanchak here. Let's take a look outside. Beautiful day out there. Pleasant, but up. Oh. We got some cloud cover on the increase, high-level clouds, still seeing the sun out there. We got uh, some rain that will be moving in later on tonight, courtesy of a front. Let's go to Ford First Alert Doppler. We should be good to go for the afternoon ride home and most of the evening. But you know what? Let me widen out the view here. And right there, moving through Chicago, now approaching Fort Wayne, Indiana, right in this area. That is right along the front or even a little bit behind uh, the front. This will bring us some rain and even a few rumbles of storms, we think, uh, later on, like more likely after about midnight. 77 right now in Cleveland. Nice. That's our high for the day. 80 in Finley. And what do we got? 76 degrees in Warren. So we're going to watch out for the rain and storms uh, that will be moving in later on tonight. But this will be a quick shot, okay? Quick moving system. In fact, by this time tomorrow, we could be mostly sunny again in some spots with one change. Oh, we turn much cooler. 
A noticeable change in temperature coming up tomorrow and then especially tomorrow night. A little uh, early touch of fall coming at us here. So, of course, much more on that and the latest on Hurricane Ike coming up. Let's get a check on the traffic with Rick Abel. What's up? Got a little bit of slow junk on the Interbelt southbound from Dead Man's Curve around past Ontario, but that's just rush hour. No reports of any trouble on 271. We do look at this. This is 77 at 480. 77 is good down to Pleasant Valley. Still moving reasonably well. 480, no accidents on that rascal. Then we'll jump over here and check out the top end of 71 around the Metro Health Hospital curve. That's all good around the West 14 roundabout. And 71 all the way down to 82. Good to go. I'm Rick Abel, 19 Action News. Programming note now for you. Those of you who are looking to watch the U.S. Open Men's Tennis Championship, you can see the match on our HD sub channel. It's 19.2. It may also be listed as Weather Now by your cable company. Coverage begins at 5 o'clock. Coming up on 19 Action News, first at 4. Well, the Browns did not disappoint. They have a long tradition of losing the season opener. Sunday, no different. The Cowboys ran all over the Brownies all day. One of the team's biggest fans sounds off. And storm warning. Ike lashes Cuba and continues its trek to the U.S. Louisiana could be in its sights. Jeff Tanjack is tracking the hurricane. He didn't even see it coming. The driver of a minivan slams into a man on a bike, and it's all caught on tape. You're watching 19 Action News. Honest, fair, everywhere. Hey, Tim Isnick. Hey, make them pay. At the Original Mattress Factory, we offer tremendous value to our customers by eliminating the middleman and selling factory direct. We can all sleep well at night knowing that when you buy at the Original Mattress Factory, you get more mattress for less money. It's simple math, really. A 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty, plus up to 33 miles per gallon, plus annual fuel savings of over $4,000. Do the math. You'll find the answer is Hyundai. I needed a reliable and fuel-efficient car. I did the math. Gas prices are high, so I did the math. Right now, get a brand-new 09 Hyundai Sonata for just $199 per month. Do the math. Only at your Northeast Ohio Hyundai dealer. Do the math. At the Clear Choice Dental Implant Center, we change lives every day. Are you missing one or more teeth? Then come to a free seminar at Clear Choice. At a Clear Choice seminar, you get all the information you need. Meet the doctors, tour our facility, understand the importance of our high-tech 3D CAT scan, and see our on-site lab where we actually make your new teeth. You'll leave knowing how long your treatment will take and what it will cost. So take the first step. Come to a free seminar. For seminar reservations, call 216-450-5555. Okay, Sue, it's the lightning savings round. Are you playing for your car or your home? Car. I want the nationwide insurance. Let's do... The On Your Side Review! First question. How many cars? Two. Are they new? Yes. Any accidents? No. Here it is. Your new customized nationwide car insurance. <laughs> and you rack up to $500 in savings. Call 877-NATIONWIDE now. Woo! Call 877-NATIONWIDE. Whoa! What happened to you? You were mudslinging with Cable again, weren't you? There's no need to get in the trenches with those guys. Everyone knows Windstream's way better than Cable. Oh, I know, I know. Cable's always raising their rates. Hop on with Windstream and you'll get a guaranteed rate for two whole years. That's high-speed internet and reliable phone with long distance for $59.99 a month. With a Windstream bundle, you'll be cruising online at blazing fast speed. And your Windstream landline is the most reliable home phone you can get. Cable can't say that. Hop on with Windstream and get high-speed internet and home phone for $59.99. All backed by a two-year price guarantee. Hear that, Cable? You can save even more when you add a Dish Network satellite TV package. Your key to great entertainment. Just call 1-877-904-WIND or log on to windstream.com slash double today. Brown is so not your color. Hi, I'm Ron Trzinski of the Original Mattress Factory, inviting you to tour our factory and see our quality. We build our mattresses one at a time. Then we sell direct to you. Come see for yourself the Original Mattress Factory. Genuine value from the inside out. You're watching 19 Action News. Honest, fair, everywhere. Jury selection underway today in O.J. Simpson's robbery and kidnapping trial. Our American Agenda, first at four, begins in Nevada. 
The 61-year-old is accused of a violent confrontation with two sports memorabilia dealers at a Las Vegas hotel. Five other men were also arrested, but four of them took plea deals and will testify against the juice. Only one co-defendant, Clarence C.J. Stewart, will face trial with Simpson. California filed this story under totally bizarre, if you will, a naked man arrested for breaking into a home, not with a gun, but with spices and a sausage. He hit one guy with the sausage while he rubbed the other one with spices. Cops tracked down the nude dude in a nearby field and the money he took, but apparently the sausage is gone, eaten by a dog. Illinois, a biker walks away after a minivan slammed into him at a gas station, all the caught on tape. The van smashed the guy's bike and dragged him about 40 feet through the parking lot before speeding away. Can't imagine the driver will get too far. The cops know what he looks like. Well, it's the end of an era for Coney Island's Astroland. Hundreds of thrill-seekers enjoy the rides one last time today before the historic amusement park closed.